Rocco here with another episode of Stay Sprung. And today's review is on what I believe is a hidden gem, the Seiko SRPC series. This is the C19, the gray dial version, with rose gold toned hands and Arabic numerals with second markings around the outer dial and a date window at three o'clock. Small enough and positioned in a way, the three o'clock Arabic numeral remains, which I believe is a nice touch. I'll use the caliber to measure the specs. We have here a 42 millimeter dial with a Harlex crystal and 13 millimeters thick. Stainless steel polished case with a transparent case back. The bandwidth is 20 mils with a lug to lug size of 49 millimeters. This Seiko automatic is running the 4R35B movement. Same as the Presage and Patty automatic. 23 joules with a 40 hour power reserve, which is hand winding and hacking with 100 meters water resistance. And this is definitely an amazing feat to achieve with no screw down crown. I'm a bit worried, not about the water resistance, but for the crown isn't snug or resistant to any pulling force. So one slip or brush up against any object and this piece will be toast. The band provided with the C19 is a stainless steel majority brushed with polished columns running down the bracelet, polished sides on the end links, and the clasp is a deployment push button release. In my opinion, one of the two weak points is the bracelet. I immediately ditched this bracelet for a nice dark and light contrast strap that would complement and dress the piece up a bit. And as you can see, the plastic protection is still on the bracelet and this thing never made it out of the box. The movement is highly accurate, even after being lent out to a friend, rough housed around, and even used as an everyday watch by my girl, whom I had to steal it back from just for this review. And after all of this, it still runs clean as day one, with its 21,600 BPH. Not as smooth as a 28.8, but respectable for this piece. The case, despite being polished, held up reasonably well, considering three people have been wearing this watch over the past 20 months. Seems to resist a lot of scratching and markings that comes with everyday wear. The 100 meter rating is absolutely astonishing, with the absence of a screw down locking crown of any type, which brings me back around to my second and last shortcoming of this watch. Its winding is very loose. Plainly stated, just feels really generic and plasticky, and sounds even worse. Unlike any other piece that I own, it reminds me of a wind up one inch plastic car I used to play with as a kid, and not in a good way. I'll wind it close to the mic and try and give you guys a listen over the gloves. All in all, the SRPC series by Seiko is an awesome watch. The dial has so much depth. The Arabic numerals tend to glow first as light spills into the crystal or in low light environments. Then as the light hits the backdrop, the sun wave dial plays with the light in its own manner. And I will say, though I've never been a fan of crystals other than sapphire when pertaining to watches, Seiko's Harlex crystal has a way of revealing the face at certain angles, which I like, and sapphire would definitely raise the price point, which is about $300 retail and can be had for about $120 new. At that price point, for a classy hacking and hand winding automatic with an exhibition case back and 100 meters water resistance is definitely going to be hard to top. And for all these reasons, plus its high durability rating, tried and true, is why I proclaim this SRPC series to be one of Seiko's many hidden gems. Close in look and the exact movement to the presage or cocktail time, I dubbed this watch the happy hour or the poor man's presage. And still, I love it and give it a rating of 7.5 out of 10. For me, the issues are the metal bracelet and the winding of the 4R35, which is totally subjective. And being 10 atmospheres resistant, a steel band is the way to go when being submerged. And I'm sure some don't care about the winding or the sound of it. So this is all opinionated discrepancies. Thanks for watching. Please give a thumbs up if you like the video and content. Comment below if you like this watch or you believe it to be some ripoff of the well known and sought after Presage. And subscribe to the channel because you won't want to miss the upcoming content. I can assure my viewers the quality, brands, and rarity of the upcoming pieces will definitely grab and hold your attention. So till next time, stay sprung.